Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis, where as always, I'm going to be running into the Bitcoin chart for you, literally running into it right here. <laughs> and we're going to be going over the technical analysis, the really important support and resistance levels that we just have to absolutely be aware of because the levels that we're giving are being respected all so well. And it's just an absolute gold mine right now. It's just a very enjoyable time to be trading this. So that's what we're going to be covering in today's video. And I just want to remind you all very quickly that now for absolutely free, every Tuesday and Thursday, we are obviously doing posts over on the community page of our YouTube channel. Really simply to find this, just youtube.com, obviously forward slash chart champions. Come over from the homepage, come over to the community page. And then from the community page, we're doing these posts, okay? Obviously, we are putting in a lot of time and effort to write all these posts, so... <laughs> go over and actually read them and you know as always we will say all we ask for is a simple like so if you want to just give a like and or even a comment if you're feeling extra generous a comment as well a comment and a like and uh, you know that's all we ask for thank you ever so much and remind yourselves every Tuesday and Thursday to go over and check those posts in the community tab. So, of course, there's going to be one tomorrow. So stay tuned for the post tomorrow. With that said, over to the technical analysis side of things. Those posts are more, more just rundowns talking about different events that are happening during the week for Bitcoin and altcoins. Obviously, today we see what Shiba up to today. Shiba up 7%. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to focus on Bitcoin in this video. And um, what's, you know, what we're, what, we're, what we're looking at here over the past, obviously, few days. The last update that I gave you was obviously on Friday night. On Friday night, we we're obviously talking about this region of resistance at around $63,000. Obviously, we've, I've, I've gone through the resistance why it was. Obviously, we were looking at the pitchfork, the point of control of that level. This is obviously still a resistance level. But we obviously, we ran into, as we were talking at the time, that $62,800 level, okay? I'll show you what we were talking about here. So this was obviously on Friday, and this is before we hit the level, by the way. So I'm just coming in, warning people, you know, I'm not going to be looking for longs here. This is a level of resistance, 62800 Be cautious of this level. Okay, as you can see here, I've mentioned this level a few times in the past. It is a continuous level while we're up here on Bitcoin, of obviously a big SR level. So as we were approaching that level on Friday, I'm telling my team, 62,800, still a big level of resistance. I would personally not long here. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And then obviously we add on the uh, CC pool, send their regards. Whenever I add on a CC pool, send their regards, my team know to pay attention. <laughs> and this was obviously a little bit later. We had seen the swing failure pattern through the level. I'll zoom in here. We had seen the swing failure pattern through the level. We're back down below the level. There's obviously a short position. Okay. Why? Because we had made the plan. We knew 62,800 is a level of resistance. We're waiting for the reaction. We see the move or failed auction through the level, coming back down below. I've added on the secret CC pool send their regards. I think everybody in my Discord is gonna know right now. Okay, <laughs> let's get into our let's get into our positions. Okay, so if we add this on really simply, okay, obviously it's kind of funny. CC pool send their regards. It is off of a technical rejection. Yeah, this is all about the technical analysis. It's waiting for the reaction, seeing the reaction. Hey executing yeah we're not getting scared about taking short positions on bitcoin you know but some people are oh you can't short bitcoin it's in a bull market you can't short bitcoin la 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 you know i'm just going to short if there's an opportunity to short i'm going to long if there's an opportunity to long what i will always do is if we are moving up to resistance i'm looking for shorts if we are moving down to support i'm looking for longs i'm not going to be longing the breakout up here i'm not going to be shorting a breakdown in fear here okay i'm going to trade the charts and make money so obviously we had this CC pool send their regards and where did we make our way down to? We actually made our way down during the course of the weekend to our weekly level of support. Okay, from that weekly level of support, I will show you this. So if we add on our higher term time frame levels again, obviously we had our first initial weekly, but the weekly we're referring to here is obviously that $60,012 weekly level, which has been pretty insane. No? And obviously we come down to here, we bounce off that level and we get this move to the upside. And pay attention, please just pay attention to the next following segment of what happened here, what was going through my mind and what was the reason that we saw this move up and then a drop before the rise. Yeah, think about this. What happened last night was this. 
obviously I done a champions live stream and during that champions live stream we we are foreseeing a move up to that weekly level and then a drop okay why is this well when we're moving up to this level of resistance we're obviously in confluence of the weekly and the cc but there was one golden factor that we also knew if you remember this and that is the cme gap that had opened so what had happened here is there has been a cme gap obviously you're seeing your open at 11 p.m okay so you get your cme gap which is obviously to the upside price had closed friday night high opened lower down you have a gap to the upside so what's happening in this moment of time are people are going to be aping into longs thinking hey i'm going to long for the cme gap this is a really good idea no uh 99 of the cme gaps get filled oh my god let's long for the cme gap fill and i'm thinking to myself no actually let's wreck everybody first stop all the people longing into resistance out drop price down and then get the rise obviously i was looking at the harmonic in last night's champions live stream eg you want to see the rise and then a drop before another rise eg this is a way to absolutely wreck in my opinion kind of bad traders that are just blindly longing for these cme gaps so we're looking for the rise we got the rise we come into resistance and then surprise surprise we got the drop we drop down to swing failure pattern the weekly level of supports swing failure pattern the lows and then naturally, we've stopped everybody out that's going for that CME gap. Now is the time to look for longs. Why? Because we're back down at weekly support. Back down at weekly support. From there, surprise, surprise, we get a bounce to the upside. So, it's, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of funny, but over the over the weekend, we have absolutely nailed the, the original short position. And surprise, surprise, <laughs> the short position coming down to where, 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 where? The lower weekly level of support obviously getting another rise to the upside <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> excuse me very ever so much and what i was going to say there is you know it's a simple case of you can see we're making plans we are judging areas of resistance we're trading the reactions off of those areas of resistance not only that we're then making new plans of ways that are going to you know i say this lightheartedly but ways that are going to wreck a lot of people not because we want to wreck a lot of people but because we want to make money trading and you know i question do, do you think that we are able to time these levels so precisely because of the really good technical analysis or because we have many big whales in this game um or is it a collection of both i think at the end of the day it comes down to having good technical analysis and then of course having a lot of money to help move the market along push it along obviously is going to be helpful but at the end of the day it all comes down to having a plan then actually just executing that plan yeah that's the simple that's the simple outcome of the market obviously then some of the ways that we can say exactly as predicted are obviously nice so that leads us up to where we are now i've talked you through the rejection that we saw up here which was absolutely no surprise i've then talked you through the support bounce that we found here and then obviously I was talking about the CME gap, which I will show you right now. That CME gap, here was the CME gap, and that has now been filled. So the CME gap is now filled, by the way. Um, and now we move on to what we're looking at next. Well, actually, this level for me is now gone. So we can just 62,800, we've obviously tapped it. What we have now is a simple case of our last double top well, obviously, this ended in a swing failure pattern as well. The swing failure patterns actually have started to come back. They went for a bit. They started to become pretty useless. But over the past seven days, um, <laughs> they've, they've become very nice again. So we obviously saw the swing failure pattern here at 63,800. This is obviously still a region of resistance. I was obviously talking to you from Friday, the level of resistance that we have there um, off of the pitchfork pointer control. So naturally we have a big zone of resistance and we have to take this from above the level in case we see another failed auction swing failure pattern and we can obviously bring it down towards those last highs as i was showing you that that point of control is is around 63,100 to 63,150 and obviously up of our up to our top level resistance 64,250 so we have this really big level of resistance of course if we get through that resistance and start to hold it as support it turns into really big support but 
let's not try and foresee that at the moment because right now this is big resistance if it flips it flips but let's trade the charts let's plan for this i plan for shorts at resistance i plan for longs at support okay this is what i plan for if i'm invalidated on that idea and price just does this let's just say for example it just does this and blasts through it with no you know no pullback at all then i just do not take the short why because i have alert set at these levels and i'm ready to take the trade based off of the reaction i do not preset at these levels so um you know at the end of the day again i stress this in every single video because it's so important i am making a plan for the levels that i want to trade from and then i'm waiting for the reaction off of those levels <laughs> yeah it's as simple as that so of course i know my next level of the upside where i would look for short positions obviously i already have a few shorts from higher and i now have longs from lower um <clears throat> so yeah this is the level i'm prepared to look for next for short positions and obviously to the downside well obviously you know, this support has been crazy big yeah obviously we see a few wicks down through it but overall this is a very big level of support still sixty thousand dollars offered out weekly we all know our levels to the downside being the monthly and that lower daily should we lose this but currently that 60k weekly is a very strong support level if lost we're obviously going to be looking down towards the the monthly and then the lower daily okay so it's at this moment in time we are pushing up towards once again the range high if we break the range high, of course, we're going to be looking up towards, you know, $65,000 plus. If we can reject here or the range high and make our way down, we're going to look back down towards that 60, 58,000. If we break that, of course, we can start to look for much lower levels on the Bitcoin chart. All it comes down to is being prepared, taking your trades and then let the market, you know, play out. Am I going to trade here where we are right now? No, because I don't have a trade where we are right now. I'm going to remain patient for my next trading setup, trading only the highest probability trades, period. It really is simple if you allow it to be simple. If you are overcomplicating things, if you are looking for trades where there are no trades, you are definitely going to lose money. For sure, this market, 95% of people lose money. So if you actually want to make money consistently from this market, you have to think outside of the box. You know, I think this was a thought process outside of the box. Many people are thinking of it break the CME people, then pump it. You know, it's just like one of these things. You just have to be extremely well prepared. And of course, know where your CC levels of support and resistance are. <laughs> because obviously, what did we bounce off of here? I nearly forgot to show you this. But if we hide the high, hide the high term time frame levels, Fibonacci from low to the high, straight into the CC. Who else shows you this? Like, this is this is just nice. Yeah, it's just nice. Anyway, I digress. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, as always, smash that like button as hard as you can. If you want to see uh, a certain altcoin, let me know. And remember, every Tuesday and Thursday, we now have the posts over in the community tab off of our YouTube page. Click on our channel, click community, and you can read all of the posts that we do there. So yeah, hit that like button, share it with your friends and family if you've enjoyed and if you think it will be helpful to them. And I'm going to say thank you ever so much. See you over in the Discord channel and CC Pool, send their regards. Cheers, everybody, and goodbye.